good morning i welcome you to uh, kisan credit card desk scheme uh, program so we have discussed uh, about what are the agriculture schemes how we can lend it to a farmer but today we will discuss something about the kisan credit card scheme so about uh, 15 20 years before the situation i think you should understand 20 years before the farmers used to come to the banks for every requirement of the their requirement maybe their uh, crop loan requirement or term loan requirement anything anything about their requirement they were supposed to come to the bank and they used to make about 10 to 12 times visits to each bank so that was the situation there and for from bankers point of view also the bankers were feeling the pressure because all the uh, farmers they were coming and uh, uh, making a request for disbursement of the loans and there used to be pressure on the bankers because the situation is that uh, the crop loan requirement is uh, same in the during the monsoon period and the disbursement also needs to be done in the same period so there was pressure from bankers point of view and there was a lot of time uh, wastage for the farmers point of view also during that uh, uh, busy season of their uh, agriculture season they were supposed to make visits to the banks so that was the situation there about 15 20 years before and uh, every time they used to complete the documentation so it was a continuous process for the bankers also so so to create a hassle free atmosphere for both the bankers as well as the farmers so government of india has thought uh, something has to be done for their uh, benefit so that this situation can be rectified so rbi has come out with a circular saying that uh, the kisan credit card scheme is a, uh, a relief for the bankers as well as for the farmers also so it is a very convenient uh, system and uh, it doesn't require any uh, uh, technical uh, requirement from the bankers point of view or the farmers also it is very very uh, timely assistance for the bankers uh, for the farmers also because the documentation as per the kisan trade card scheme it has to be completed in one go and it will be valid for the next five years so the uh, documents need not be touched because every time documentation means expenses and time and a lot of process there for the documentation process but to avoid all these problems so kisan card uh, has been introduced by the reserve bank of india for the benefit of the farmers it is a single window concept whatever the requirements are there from the farmers whatever the requirements it could be the crop loan requirement it could be the uh, produce uh, marketing of the loan and our post harvest expenses or it could be a term loan if they require any pump set or it, it requires any uh, uh, like a tractor or you require a uh, irrigation loan or you require a horticulture loan term loan purpose or you require a bullocks for all these purposes so a common documentation and a common uh, credit card uh, has been introduced so earlier so the documentation was done for a term loan once crop loan once again uh, uh, farm mechanization different types of uh, documents were created and it used to create a lot of problem for the both bankers as well as the uh, farmers now to avoid all these things all the requirements of the farmer are clubbed into one scheme like they have been uh, they will be assessed in one go suppose the farmer wants uh, 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 bullocks loan he wants a crop loan and he wants uh, uh, a pledge of uh, where a pledge of uh, his goods all these expenses will be assessed at one point of time he will not visit to bank again and again only documentation will be done only once in a five years how it is to be done let us discuss here uh, for uh, whom the credit cards will be given the kisan credit cards the farmers it could be the farmers individually or it could be the uh, giant farmers giant farmers means maybe in the family also or it could be a tenant farmer suppose a farmer has uh, taken a land and lease basis and is cultivating the land and uh, for them also a kisan credit card can be, can be given and for self-help groups which we have discussed in the last session who are the self-help groups or uh, giant liability groups for them also we can give a credit card kisan credit card 
let us discuss what are the salient features of a kisan credit card it is a very hassle free what we have discussed it is a very time saving for the bankers as well as for the farmers it saves a lot of expenditure for the farmers because the stamp duty is very expensive every time we have to create a document means stamp duty has to be paid and uh, it's very expensive about 10 to 15 percent of the total requirement is going towards your stamp duty only not only that, it is uh, taking a three, four times once he has, he has to go to the registrar office, he has to come to the bank. So several times he has to make the visit to avoid all these things. So this this is a very innovative way for the benefit of all the farmers. And the, once the document is created, it is valid for five years, unless there are some changes that we will discuss what are the changes, where it can be changed. And there is a one-time documentation at the time of first disbursement itself. First time of first time disbursement, uh, he'll be completing the documentation. And uh, every time, uh, and uh, next year onwards, he'll be taking only declaration. So and so is my crop, and so is the, so much so is the, my requirement, and everything is only declaration, nothing else. No documentation is required because that documentation is valid for five years. And uh, <clears throat> In the account also, in the credit card, it has to be brought to the credit balance in once in 12 months. For a cash credit card account, that is a crop loan account, it has to be brought into the credit account, credit card, credit balance. So otherwise it becomes a non-performing asset. Okay. Suppose the farmer has got, uh, uh, farmer has got some balance, some surplus amount. So he will be keeping in the account itself. And whatever the credit balance in the credit card account, so there, he will earn interest equivalent to the saving bank interest. Bank will be paying interest also on that. Not only that, and the, wherever the credit balance is there, no interest will be charged to his account. So that is the benefit of it. No interest will be charged on his loan account. Only on the credit balance, they will be paying interest. So that is the beauty of this uh, KCC. And uh, government of India is giving some benefit to the farmers. So they are giving interest subvention for prompt payment. If the borrower is uh, uh, paying promptly, they will be eligible for 3% plus 1% additional incentive, 4% they are giving incentive also. So that is a very good scheme. Even for the Kisan credit card scheme, that uh, benefit of interest subvention is available. And uh, <coughs> the, the amount will be disbursed in different ways. He can come to the bank and take the amount. He can go to ATM uh, machine or he can go to the dealer who is supplying the fertilizers. He can go to the... Um, uh, dealer who is supplying the uh, tractor, yeah, wherever he wants to use the Kisan credit card scheme, Kisan credit card, that can be valid. Earlier, he was supposed to come to the bank only. He was uh, uh, to even to draw the amount or to make the payment to the fertilizer shop or make to the pest, uh, payment to the pesticide shop. He has to go to the bank only. Now, that, is, that requirement is not there in Kisan credit card. He can go to the dealer also. He'll uh, just like your uh, ATM debit card, he'll uh, show his uh, debit card, ATM credit, uh, Kisan credit card, and make the payment there. So he will not visit the bank. So that is a benefit to him wherever he wants. So he can uh, draw the cash or he can make the payment. And uh, <clears throat> but only issue is suppose the cropping pattern is changed. Suppose earlier at the time of documentation, the borrower, the farmer has given that I am growing paddy, I am growing sugarcane, I am growing uh, wheat, I am growing groundnut. Some declaration he has given. But next year, he is changing the cropping pattern. So he, instead of uh, uh, paddy, he is growing for uh, maize. Instead of uh, sugarcane, so he is going for cotton. Some other, so he is changing the cropping pattern. And his number of acres, the land holding also changes. Suppose it may increase or it may decrease. Okay. In that circumstances, the Kisan credit card scheme, which has been uh, designed for five years, there you need to reassess the limit and take a documentation fresh. I'm repeating, the uh, Kisan credit card scheme is valid for five years. Documentation is also valid for five years. But when the cropping pattern is changed, the farmer wants to change his cropping pattern to some other crop and his land holding also changes, then in those circumstances, the Kisan credit card uh, will be reassessed and a fresh documentation will be done and fresh card will be issued. Okay. 
So this is about these are the features of our uh, uh, Kisan credit card, and uh, it is very simple process. It is not uh, rocket science. It is very simple. Even if uh, uh, with the five minutes of my uh, discussion, you can uh, complete the doc, uh, assessment of KCC loan. It is very easy. You need not break your head. It's very simple exercise for you. Only thing is you should know how much is the land holding of the farmer. How much land holding the farmer is having and what are the crops he is growing based on the application you can take the details he must be having the land holding how much land he is holding what are the crops he is growing and uh, scale of finance which we have discussed in our agriculture uh, session where the scale of finance for each crop each crop every year they will be declaring the scale of finance how much scale of finance has to be given for each crop so you should know only these three items you don't need anything else for assessment of the kcc first you need to know what are the uh, how much land holding that farmer is having plus what is the total scale of finance for each crop and what is the total holding so how we will assess it we will uh, do some exercise on this how it can be done okay so here in this first you know the total land Suppose if the farmer is having 10 acres and 5 acres he is growing a paddy and 5 acres sugar cane. So there based on your scale of finance which the banker is having. So based on that you multiply with the scale of finance per acre. Suppose your 5 acres is paddy. For each acre scale of finance is about 20,000. So let us say for, for example 20,000 into number of acres 5 acres. It becomes a 1 lakh. For sugar cane about let us say about 50,000 rupees per acre. So if sugar cane, 5 acres. So it comes to 2,50,000. Total 1 lakh plus 2,50,000, 3,50,000 is the crop loan requirement. Clear to you? Multiply with the number of uh, crop, with the number of acres and scale of finance. You just multiply, nothing else, don't do anything else. Okay, this will be the crop loan requirement. Plus you add 10% towards the farmer's consumption need. So every uh, Farmer requires some consumption expenses. So maybe birthday, maybe is a marriage day, or maybe just like that what we celebrate, for them also the consumption amount is also required. So from the case of Kisan credit card scheme, we can add 10% of the scale of finance which we have done as a consumption expenditure. In addition to this, the farmer is also having some assets with him like uh, maybe bullocks, maybe implements, maybe tractor, maybe pump set, whatever is that. So towards the maintenance of these assets, about 20% of the amount is also earmarked. One is the crop loan requirement based on the number of acres, scale of finance, you arrive at some amount, then 10% towards the farm expenditure, that's a consumption expenditure, and 20% towards is the maintenance of the farm assets. So these are the this is the only total item you need to calculate. Nothing else. It's very simple exercise. Then, this is for the first year. This is for the first first year. Second year, just add 10% of the amount what you have arrived at. Towards the, suppose the next year the scale of finance may change or some additional expenditure may be required. So towards that escalation, 10% is added every year. Suppose uh, uh, this year you are arriving at, uh, first year you are arriving at uh, 5 lakhs total crop loan requirement including 10% uh, consumption need, 20% uh, maintenance. All together you are getting uh, arriving at 5 lakh rupees let us say. Next year you add another 50,000 rupees. So it becomes 5 lakh 50,000. So every year you uh, will be adding 10% on the previous year. Okay. So third year on 5 lakh 50,000, 10%. So that means 55,000. And fourth year again 10% on the amount. Like this for five years you will be assessing the total requirement so this will be the crop loan requirement for five years okay suppose the farmer wants to have some asset purchase maybe he wants to buy a tractor maybe he wants to buy a dairy unit maybe he wants to buy a sheep unit maybe he wants to buy some mine irrigation activity so all together we can calculate and uh, assess at assess the total requirement okay so this is very simple, nothing uh, extraordinary mathematics required, so very simple. And uh, for uh, crop loans, 
no separate margin is required that's what we have discussed in our agriculture session isn't it so no separate margin is required for marginal farmers and for crop loans no separate margin is required because kela finance is also already inbuilt in the system itself so you are clear about kcc loan assessment is very simple let us do some exercise on this okay but how uh, it is to be disbursed that's what i told you crop loan it will be a running a running a word draft running cash credit account and term loan it is a separate term loan account is opened by the banks and here no restrictions on the number of debits how much you can, within that total limit suppose you have arrived at 1 lakh rupee limit he can draw any number of times he can draw 5000 2000 each time or number of times 20 times he can draw or 30 times he can draw there is no restriction on the number of drawals and if whenever he is having a fund in his account he can deposit there itself no no restriction on the number of credits no, no number of debits also and uh, as we discussed this uh, uh, kisan credit card uh, is valid for 5 years and every year bank based on the declaration from the uh, farmer he will uh, renew it and enhance or uh, reduce or cancel depending upon the performance of the farmer he can do it okay and repayment period for uh, uh, cash credit every 12 months he need to bring into the credit balance and term loan whatever is the repayment period suppose if you have given a 5 years repayment period every year he has to pay 1/5 of the amount so that is towards the term loan and the crop loan it is a running account he has to pay make the payment whenever as per the uh, harvesting season of the crop okay suppose the paddy is uh, he has taken a kharif loan so by september the crop is harvested and uh, he has to pay within that 2 uh, 3 months time period he, he has to pay the crop loan amount okay and uh, what is the security here up to 3 lakhs rupees wherever tie up is there wherever tie up tie up means suppose sugar cane farmers are there so he will have a tie up with uh, sugar factories suppose tobacco is there he is raising tobacco so he can tie up with uh, itc or uh, maybe cigarette manufacturing companies like this or maybe some textile uh, uh, this uh, farmer is growing cotton so he is having a tie up with uh, uh, fabric manufacturer so wherever tie up is available with somebody so there three up to 3 lakhs you need not take any additional security you need not take any security at all but now yesterday you must have seen in the news that uh, they are increasing the limit up to 2 lakhs also wherever uh, tie up is not there so they may they are going to double it of course still at a discussion stage only so that may be approved in a month or two months time but as of now up to 1 lakh rupees wherever no tie up is there no mortgage is required only hypothecation of the crop is enough and above three up to 3 lakhs wherever tie up is there only hypothecation is enough above 1 lakh or 3 lakhs what we have discussed their mortgage has to be created suppose no tie up is there and uh, he has to create he is taking a loan of uh, 1 lakh 50000 so let us say so he has to mortgage is prop uh, uh, land okay this is about the disbursement part so let us say how it is to be uh, fix the sublimits every year you need to bifurcate how much is it towards the crop loan uh, how much is towards your term loan so you will be bifurcating first of all you will be bifurcating into the cash credit account that is a running crop loan account and a term loan account so you will be bifurcating bank will be bifurcating both the accounts like this and every year they are giving a drawing limit up to which time suppose the kcc is 5 lakhs you have arrived at a 5 lakhs amount there you need to create if first year how much you can disburse towards a crop loan let us say 3 lakhs and 2 lakhs let us say towards a term loan so 3 lakhs first year he will be giving a uh, drawing limit up to so and so limit he can draw it so limits are fixed by the banks each year how much is to be disbursed okay second year maybe 10% increase that way they will be adding that way. okay but only thing is you have taken 10% of the amount as excess towards meeting the additional escalation in the scale of finance suppose if the uh, scale of finance is increased next year and all we are taking 10% cushion suppose next year the crop 
cultivation cost has increased more than 10 percent they have increased the scale of finance there you need to take the assessment separately and create a document up to 10 10 percent of the limit which you have done you need not take any fresh documentation but of the suppose if the scale of finance is increased or the crops which he is growing uh, uh, have changed then in that case you reassess the limits and freshly you work out and create a documentation okay and where your term loans are there you refix the installment term loan and accordingly you reduce the limit every year for the term loan okay so this is about uh, fixation of the sublimits let us uh, say one case study for just simple understanding the process i'll explain to you how a kcc is done suppose the, here the farmer is having two acres land he is uh, raising paddy in uh, two acres in karif crop in karif season that is uh, from uh, june to september he is raising uh, paddy and uh, in the rabi season in the same land he is raising groundnut so two acres is having two acres paddy in the karif two acres uh, groundnut in the second season let's say so the scale of finance let us say is a uh, 20000 rupees per acre okay and uh, for groundnut 15000 rupees and uh, uh, government of india has introduced the fasal bima yojana to take care of any eventualities like uh, maybe drought or floods or anything natural uh, calamities occur there in that case to protect the farmers against all these problems the government of india has come out with that insurance uh, fasal bima yojana scheme that is a prime minister's fasal bima yojana where in the karif season they'll be taking additional two percent towards the insurance premium and in the rabi season 1.5 percent is a fasal bima yojana premium okay and in this uh, this farmer uh, wants to have a dairy unit also in the first year with a total cost of 50,000 rupees. So this is a simple exercise for you. Okay. Now you refix how much is the limit. Okay. Let us say the paddy which you have discussed. Paddy the farmer is having two acres. And the scale of finance is 20,000 rupees. And crop insurance let us say 2% means it comes to 400 rupees. And the total amount of requirement per one acre is 20,400. So he is having two acres. So it comes to 40,800. Okay. So second uh, in the second season, the, he is raising uh, groundnut. So the total cost is 50,000 uh, per acre, scale of finance. The crop insurance is about 225 rupees. So 1.5% of 15,000 is 225 rupees. So the cost per acre is 15,225 per acre. So the total requirement is 30,350. And uh, total requirement of crop loan is 71,250. 40,800, 30,350. Total is 71,250. So this is the crop loan requirement. You add 10% what we have discussed towards the consumption requirement. So it comes to 7,125. And add 20% towards his farm maintenance assets, farm assets maintenance. It is 20% that comes to 14,000. The first year crop loan requirement is 92,625. So 71,250 plus 7,125 plus 14,250, it comes to 92,625. Crop loan requirement first year is 92,625. And add second year, another 10% on this. So it comes to 1,1,888. Second year, another uh, third year, another 10% on the 1,1,888. So it comes to 1,12,000 rupees. And th fourth year, on this another 10%, it comes to 1,23,284. Fifth year, 1,23,543, it comes to 1,35,000. So the crop loan requirement for the next five years, next five years is 1,35,612 rupees. So crop loan requirement, you round it off to 1,36,000 or 1,35,000. Bank will be rounding it off to nearest uh, thousand. Okay. And in the uh, first year, he wants to have a dairy unit also. So at a cost of total 50,000 rupees. And KCC card limit is... 136000 plus 50000 rupees uh, dairy unit total requirement of case on credit card is 186000 so documentation is created for 186000 here so how the drawing limits are fixed every year so first year towards the paddy 40800 that's a two acres paddy and two acres groundnut in the rabi season second that means october november december like so 30450 so consumption requirement 7125 
maintenance of the farmer sites 14,250 and total crop loan is 92,625. The farmer can draw the requirement of 40,800 towards in the Kharif season and in the Rabi season he can draw 30,450. And whenever he wants a consumption requirement, that he can draw it up to 7,400. Okay, 7,125. So the for dairy unit, 50,000 rupees is the total cost, and the total KCC limit in the first year is 1,42,625 is the total first year requirement. Clear? First year, 40,800 towards paddy. Second year, uh, for, uh, second season, 30,450 towards the ground night. Consumption requirement, 7,425. And farm assets maintenance 14,250 total 50,000 rupees dairy 1,42,625 is the KCC limit in the first year. Similarly, in the 10% to add every year for the crop loan requirement, so it comes to uh, 1,35,622 for the uh, crop loan requirement. So dairy unit of uh, 50,000 rupees he has taken. So five years repayment is fixed. So next year, the limit for the term loan will be 40,000 rupees because he has to pay 10,000 rupees, isn't it? First installment. So uh, uh, next year, you'll be paying another 10,000 rupees. So third year, you'll be paying another 10,000 like this. By five years, the repayment of term loan, diary unit will be paid off. The term loan will be paid off. So total requirement of 1,45,602 at the end of the five years. Here, only requirement is, suppose if there is no change in the cropping pattern, there is no change in the investment. There is no change in the scale of finance. The KCC card limit is valid for five years. Am I clear to you? I think uh, <clears throat> the total uh, requirement has been worked out. Okay. So now I think you have understood what is the KCC limit, how it can be worked out. We have uh, only thing is I'll repeat it here. First, you arrive at the total number of acres. What is the crop pattern? What is the scale of hands? Only three items you know. And what is the term loan assessment? What is the term loan requirement he is having? That you should know. That's all. Nothing else. No, th nothing else is required on, from your side. Just based on this, you multiply the number of acres with the uh, uh, scale of finance, you arrive at a crop loan limit. Plus, you add 10% towards is the consumption requirement. You add 10-20% uh, the maintenance of the assets. So this will be the crop uh, requirement for first year. Second year, you add 10% more. Third year, you add another 10% more. Fourth year, you add 10% more. And fifth year, another 10%. Uh, you arrive at the total amount. You complete the documentation for the the amount you arrived at a fifth year so that will be the documentation requirement for the kcc limit and uh, you add uh, the uh, date, uh, whatever the term loan is having term loan requirement for that also you add to this total crop loan requirement you arrive at the total amount of requirement of kisan credit card i think with this we'll be completing the kisan credit card uh, scheme so that is the best way of uh, 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 helping the farmer whenever any farmer uh, is approaching you to arrive at uh, to get the kisan credit card scheme you simply assess this and send it to your bank clear thank you so we'll meet again for the uh, uh, retail loans in the next session we'll be meeting uh, for the retail loans portion let us see okay thank you friends thank you and best of luck to you and uh,